Welcome. The Khmer Rouge in Cambodia was overthrown 35 years ago, but for many, pain and suffering still continues. The group was responsible for one of the worst mass killings of the 20th century. Two of the surviving Khmer Rouge leaders are still on trial for genocide and war crimes, and a verdict is expected later this year. Now, the Khmer Rouge started as an offshoot of the Vietnam People's Party after the civil war in neighboring Cambodia. It took control of the country in 1975. Under the Marxist leader Pol Pot, it banned money, religion and private property. Millions were forced out of the cities to work on communal farms in the countryside. They suffered execution, starvation and disease. Anyone deemed an intellectual, that's a vague term that could mean merely wearing glasses or speaking a foreign language, was arrested and killed in just four years until 1979 when the government was overthrown by Vietnamese troops. More than two million Cambodians lost their lives, many of them executed and buried in what came to be known as the killing fields. Well, the Cambodian artist Leung Sekong lived through that terrible time. He's produced a body of work which narrates his experiences and memories. It's on show here in London at the moment. I'm pleased to say that Sekong is with me now. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Sekong, just tell us a little of what was happening in your life when the Khmer Rouge came to power. So I very uh, 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 suffering when the, I start to know what happened in my life with the uh, start from the bomb time so that very terrible and what was happening to people you knew so I I hear from uh, the people and I see real from my eye is is like the hell in, on earth hell on earth as you've called your exhibition yeah and did you ever see any escape from it? Did you ever think it was going to end? So I, I, what I, I saw is uh, uh, one time when they take the people from the prison to use for like a cow in the rice right field. So and they they kill them in my eye when I uh, come to the place for sit and I try to hide in the forest, something like that. So you saw people being killed in the fields before your eyes, yeah. and you went and hid and as well. And make me uh, a fake. Yeah, and you were a very young boy at the time. Yeah. This, this was the majority of your childhood uh, memories began like this. It's, it's, it's real in my eye. And your immediate family, how were they affected? Your your parents, your your uncles, your aunts were they affected? I that I just uh, a lonely, but also the family is uh, they die like twelve persons. So lots of your family died that way as well. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about some of your work. You've got this exhibition. You've managed to put the emotions of growing up in that kind of horror into these incredible pictures and a sculpture as well. We'll show that in a second. Let's just show uh, the first picture that we are talking about. Um, just to explain, this is uh, the floating pot, f yeah, flooding pot and the falling gourd picture. Just tell us, what's, what does this mean? What, what does it say about your experience? Um, the, the, my experience about my life is the time of the army. The soldiers come to my village and they, they take the um, uh, uh, a big truck, a lot of truck, and to take a ride to 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 uh, to move the ride to away. But also they stole the kid to the truck too. That I join, I visit, I see the the truck, and the soldiers is take me to the truck. But also that the time is a good opportunity when I uh, uh, pro the sand is protected by my. Uh, 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 food and then also when at the moment uh, my body getting sweat and then when I I take him I try to 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 take him quick is it swell by by sweat and I run away right so you were sweating so much trying to run away and you managed to slip away from the soldiers yes and they were taking other children away yes. from where you lived yes then they, they lost they lost those children never t came back never come back but, but when the end of the 1997 uh, and all, a lot of young, the Khmer Rouge is come to kill person. So that I can, you can remember that very clearly. Yeah, imagination like that. 
Next picture, the elephant and the, the and pond of blood. Another one with so much red in this picture, so much is so much blood everywhere. This is like the the pond, the elephant and pond of blood is is the drama uh, word and become the the uh, it's, it's true at killing field and and they use the elephant for pushing and uh, destroy and also the people right on the elephant is is uh, uh, the leader but the people push the elephant is like uh, support the war what happened and we are uh, suffering and 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 die. So the leaders who did this to the people are on the elephant and the rest is where the people died, the killing fields. Um, I want to look at your Nagar sculpture, the installation, incredible thing. And uh, tell us what this represents. This is a, a, a Buddhist uh, deity, a serpent in the, in the mythology of Buddhism. That, Why? That, that uh, Naga is uh, in Cambodia, also in Asia, is symbol of the nature too. But also, is uh, when uh, you see the plastic Naga, like I make by uh, contemporary artwork, is mean for uh, very uh, uh, popular fashion. Like I traveling everywhere in the world, is people carry the plastic, and also when I look at. To environment, it's plastic. It's so, it's it's very destroy environment. Right, so, so something very toxic to the environment that you've made into something beautiful, but also a message about the dangers of of this plastic. Very different to your previous works yeah, that we've been looking at. Yes. Tell me about the next painting, uh, the Mother of Asia that we're looking. Tell me about that's the Mekong River. So the. That the Mekong is uh, like the one of the important uh, river in Asia. Also, they, the Mekong never stop to move the water and give uh, to grow people and nature. But that the future people look uh, for to make a dam or something and destroy environment. So, look like the mother is. Uh, 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 raped, you know, something like that. Yeah, so, and so the. The destructive power of humans on the earth and on, on, on other humans as you saw during your childhood. Yes, yes. Extraordinary. And this is just a, a small part of the exhibition. It's taking place at uh, Asia House here in London. And uh, if you are in London, anybody uh, who's in London, I'm sure you might be uh, delighted to see more of Leon Sekon's work currently there on display. Leon Sekon, thank you very much for coming in. We really appreciate you talking to us here on Impact. Thank you so much.